Okay, and this is part two of some demonstrations on some options and different ways we can create section views in drawing mode. Let's look at an example, uh, again, of a round part that has a whole pattern. It has some offset ribs. What we'd like to do here is create a section view that runs through the vertical axis, gets down to the center line, and then comes off with a line that'll be parallel going through the middle of one of these ribs. To create this kind of section view, we're going to need to draw two lines, or there may also be cases where we need to draw more than two lines to create our section view. So to do this, rather than going right to the section view command itself, first we'll go to the sketch commands. I'll grab my line tool, inference the circle, and begin drawing my vertical line. I'll stop when I get to the center mark inference. I'll then draw another line and drag it out kind of approximately at the center of this rib and make sure that my line extends beyond the diameter of the part. Now I'll hit escape and I'll zero in on this uh, on this area where I've drawn this line then just holding down the control key I'll select the line I've drawn and one of the edges of this rib. This brings up my sketch relations over in the property manager where I can then establish a parallel relationship. That'll center that line right along that rib and that's a parametric relationship so that if the rib moves my section line is going to move. So now that I've drawn my sketch for my section line I'm going to pre-select the vertical segment because we need to tell SOLIDWORKS when it creates the section view which line to unfold about. So I'll pre-select the vertical segment. From my view layout command manager I'll hit the section view command and SOLIDWORKS will then peel that view out either to the right or left side. Once again I can click on the hatching to override the hatch properties maybe to increase the scale a little bit. What I want you to notice about this section however is that it's not actually unfolding about this angled line. If we look closely at the section, you can see the section is not, uh, the section on this lower part is not in the plane of the paper, but rather it's at, a, at an oblique angle. So we're actually seeing the rest of the model back into space behind, uh, behind the cutting plane. Now there may be cases where we want to create an aligned section view and an aligned section view would be uh, another name, name for that would be a rotated section view where we unfold about this vertical line but we also unfold about this line here at the same time and that's a different command altogether so what I've done here in advance is I've gone ahead and created a, 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 a few sketch lines that represent that direction but we'll use a different command this time under the section view drop down list we'll choose the Aligned Section View command. Once I choose the Aligned Section View, SOLIDWORKS knows to take any angled lines and unfold them into the plane of the paper. So by close comparison now of the two different kinds of section views, you can see now in Section CC how the hatching uh, has, has unfolded itself to be parallel to the plane of the paper as opposed to Section BB. So there's two different variations on creating section lines that are uh, not just of the vertical or horizontal nature. And that's going to allow you to create a couple of different variations of, of section views that will help you document your drawings better.